Hello again everybody, it's me, Madame Macabre, and my new little roommate Artemis. She's so sleepy, she can go back down in the chair. Today, I've got a special treat for you guys. It is the week of Halloween, so I thought I would share a special treat with you all. See, when I was moving here, I had to go through a lot of my old stuff, including sorting through my old bookshelf, which required me to go through old papers and drawings and all of those nightmares, as I'm sure you guys can understand going through your own stuff. While I'm not pulling up some of the old artwork because that's traumatizing, I do have a special little treat for you guys. I found a paper that I wrote in... I don't know when I wrote this. I'm thinking it's sometime in elementary school. Here we have my own original story, the, uh, the kid eating bus driver. I thought I would share this with you guys and uh, it's actually been, I, I haven't read this probably for years since I haven't read it since I wrote it. So we'll go on this magical adventure together. It's a spooky story, my spooky beginnings. What a Halloween treat. Okay. The Kid Eating Bus Driver, Chapter 1. As you may know, all kids have had at least one bus driver they hate. As you well know, apparently. Okay. But this is a whole new story. Hi there. Me and my friends were, for once, minding our own business when we found out that we had the Kid Eating Bus Driver. Why isn't the dumb bus here already, yelled Lori. This was my next door neighbor at the time. I forgot my coat and it's freezing. We were all waiting for our beloved Teresa, quotation, our bus driver, in the dumb old bus to come pick us up. But soon we learned that our poor Teresa was never to return to us again. I remember, I actually wrote this out of spite because we did have a bus driver named Teresa who was super nice, and then, like, she probably, I mean, now that I'm older, I'm probably good for her, she probably found a better job, but uh, the woman who replaced her was really cranky, but this, I guess, is pure spite towards the new woman, so I can already see which direction this is going in. Ah, childhood. Who's that driving the bus, said Keith. I don't know, I said. Huh? Said Lori, who... Okay, elementary school me, there's more ways to say said than said. You can say exclaimed, shouted, gasped. No, we're gonna do said a million times. Said Lori, who was lo busy looking at a small brown, squ brown squirrel. We don't even have those here, we have the gray ones. Maybe it's a sub. Literally put a sad face. <laughs> we all said sadly. The bus came ever so slowly crawling inch by inch forward. That is awfully dramatic, tiny me. Chibi Madam needs to calm down. And then screeched to a halt. Get in, you little nasties. What is she like? <laughs> you little nasties. Like, like Smeagol. Go a uh, golem from Lord of the Rings. You nasties! <laughs> Screeched the mysterious driver wrapped in a cloak. How would the school district hire this woman in a mysterious cloak? What is this like Voldemort? Okay, and that's already the end of chapter one. These are very short chapters. Chapter two. We were all frightened, but we slowly walked up the steps anyways. Take your seats! Yelled the nasty old bus driver. We took our seats as quickly as possible, but as the complete opposite, instead of going extremely slow, she roared off as fast as the old bus could possibly go. This is getting dramatic. About three bus stops down, Keith decided to start mocking the thing. <laughs> she's not even a woman at this point, she's a thing decided to start mocking the thing, or so-called bus driver, by pretending to be her and making her mock herself. What a creative sentence. <sighs> Who said that? She squealed. <laughs> she's, not, 
This is like a Smeagol pig thing. Not me. Or oh, sorry. It's in. It's in a super. Where is it? It's in super super small text to emphasize that it's small. Not me. We all very quietly mumbled. She growled. At, oh, and there's a handwritten fix to that typo. She growled and turned around, not looking back. She just, like, straight up, just, like, she didn't even say anything. She just... <laughs> okay. All right. We were very relieved when we got to school, but we knew we would have to face her again after school. Oh, no! We screamed once the school bell rang. Also in brackets, for the first time in our lives. The same routine as the morning. But we were luckily the first stop. For the next week or two, the same routine went on. But she got meaner and meaner every day. Finally, one day after school, she skipped all of our houses and went speeding onto the highway. Here's the climax, I'm thinking. All of us were screaming bloody murder. Shut up, you dimwits! That's kind of a funny insult for children. Shut up, you dimwits! She shouted as she zoomed off the highway and onto a forest trail. She screeched the bus to a halt in front of an old rickety house. Get out and form a perfect line! She screamed on the count of three when the bus driver was not looking. We ran as fast as we could into the woods. Okay, forming a perfect line is like... What is this, like, the, the forest witch that's gonna eat the children? And, like, on the count of three, how did you make those plans for- I'm- I'm overthinking. I'm overthinking. We ran into the woods, feeling sorry for the other kids who got caught trying to do the same. Oh. <laughs> Good night, sweet prince. I guess they're getting eaten. Oh, man. Eek! Lori and I screeched as we all looked down to see a sun-bleached skull on the ground. Oh, spooky Yuki! here come the hyper-realistic eyes. The evil driver heard our cries and yelled, If anyone is out of line, they will go first. Everyone looked at each other and then back up at her. Okay, she mumbled angrily. What is she doing? asked Keith. I don't know, Lori and I said at the same time. It looked like she was tying the kids to a tree. I know we could run away now and be safe, but we could also work together and rescue the other kids. I said. Oh, it's all, it's all my idea, apparently. Good idea, exclaimed Lori and Keith. This will take a lot of work, we said. Whatever we do, we can't get caught. This is getting into some Mission Impossible stuff. Oh, chapter, chapter three is only a paragraph, apparently. Okay. And I like how I didn't even separate it. It's just one solid block of text. After about 15 minutes, we created a foolproof plan in 15 minutes. Just nothing can go wrong, ever. After about 15 minutes, we created a foolproof plan and headed out. We'll distract her by making strange noises at the back of the house. Good idea. That'll be perfect. Just go and make strange... Oh, Lori said Lori and I. Then I'll sneak up and cut the ropes when she's not looking, exclaimed Keith. So me and Lori took sticks and started banging the back of the rickety old house. That That's banging a stick, that's not making a strange noise. The driver started running towards the place where the noise had come from. Then it was Keith's chance. He ran as fast as he could over to the kids tied to the trees and chopped off all of the ropes. The evil driver heard the cheers of the children and quickly lost interest in the noise. Chapter 4 Oh, oh, we are on the last page. This, this must be it. Here we go. But we planned this to happen. We had a huge net ready. Where'd we get the net? A, a huge net to, okay. Which we had found on the old river. Uh, there was a river? Chibi Madam needs to learn to set a scene beforehand and foreshadow. 
Me and Lori quickly pulled the strings and up she went. Quickly, I pulled out its weakness as Lori dropped the net. The weakness was a form saying that she was fired. Oh no, no, she screamed as she shriveled into a dried prune. <laughs> what? We all cheered. As soon as I got home, I said, sorry I'm late. The bus sub was really bad. The end. Or is it? All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that story. That was certainly unique. Look back into the archives. So, uh, if you're ever feeling bad about the way your own writing and developing is going, just remember, I wrote that before I moved on to what I'm writing now. You too can improve. I, I look at this and I cringe, but I hope you can enjoy the cringe with me. All right, you guys. Well, I will have more Halloween-themed goodies coming up for you the rest of this week, but that is all for now. Until then, have a happy Halloween!